Hey, what's up, guys? It's Borat slash Infuse coming at you with another video today. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Flower Bouquet in GPO. And before I get into the review, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the explosive response we had on last video, which got an amazing 300 views. And that's so good for my first GPO video. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. You should feel awesome. And yeah, I hope this video is even better. So, let's start off with the Flower Bouquet's M1 damage. Without boost, though, it'll be doing 12. And my stats, that's the wrong one. My stats are 209 in sword, which is really, really bad. And then 19 in Buso, which is still really bad. So, um, overall, I think this sword will be best used if it's like a, as a combo extender. Like, let's say your main source of damage is Black Leg. I think using this just for the flower charm effect would be its best use because the M1 damage really screws it over. It does have really good M1 speed though. Not really good, but uh, average, I say. Which makes up for it, I guess. But still not that good. Alright, so the first move will be Flower Smell, which buffs your stamina intake by 1. Meaning, if you have a normal stamina regen of 5, it'll be 6. Which is an alright move if you're like grinding bosses or something like that. But if you're never running out of stamina in Arena, I don't see a use for this move. So, its best use will probably be if you're farming. Like, um, like Penel or Whitebeard or stuff like that, where you're gonna like be spamming your moves a lot. Now the next move, which is why people use this sword, is Flower Charm, which is a really big AoE sun move with almost no wind up. Also, it's a kind of long cooldown. I don't know so. Um, this move is used the combo starter and a combo ender. Not combo ender, a combo extender. Because if I'm, I believe this is the only sword that has a true combo extender that doesn't involve a wall. No other sword can do this. Oh, I tracked them both. And get more M ones after using a move, which is really nice. Unless they count Elo Hammer, which is a little iffy. But overall, I think Flower Charm is still a really good move. If you whiff it, or if they block it, you get in tons of M-Lag -like, though. Which is really bad, so you're always going to make sure that you're going to hit it, or like you bottom in a combo with it. Because that's like your best combo with it, you get more moves after it. Um, if you try to throw it out, like, get pull over to them throw it out like this it won't really work that well unless they block it if they block it then you're kind of screwed but if they don't block it you get a free combo which is very nice the most i see flower bouquet used with is black leg and Coro, because you can do like five and one skepo collier five and one skepo flower charm five and one skepo lightning paralysis and just have a long long combo and as I said before, their main like source of damage is Black Lake. Because the M1 scaling on Black Lake is really good, opposed to Flower Bouquet. So overall I wouldn't use this sword if like it's my main source of M1 damage. I would get something else, like probably Black Lake or even Shiki, honestly. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad sword, but it has a lot of cons that you're gonna have to work around. The bad M1 damage. All the moves being blockable, one move that isn't like a buff to yourself. Candy cane makes up for like its one move because that block breaks and um, suns for a little bit, which is really nice. But you can't combo into it, so overall, I would say Flower Bouquet is a little bit better than Candy Cane, but that's just my opinion. Also, as fast as I'm getting off topic. Okay, so Flower Bouquet, I don't know. I'm not sure what else I can say here besides, you know, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's worth the value it is right now, because right now it's worth Trident and Vicento, which in my opinion are just better swords in it for most cases. But, oh, that was a lot of lag. But yeah, I. It's kind of a very boring sword. Um, that's like the best way to put it. 
It's not good at one damage. It has no block breaks. Has one attacking move and one buff move that isn't even that good. I would much prefer it if it had health regen, like Candy Man, than Flower Smell. Because for me personally, in Arena, I never see myself running out of stamina. And I know a lot of people can relate with that. So overall, I would give Flower Bouquet a solid 7 out of 10. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. And I'm not sure why it's so valued. I get it's unobtainable, but it really should not be worth that much. Unless you're a Goro user. If you're a Goro user, I can understand, because you can do some crazy stuff with Goro. But I just don't see this thing being used for a lot of builds. Maybe there's some, like, some super tech I don't know about. But overall, Flower Bouquet, it's decent. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you comment and subscribe. If you guys enjoy all my content, make sure you uh, leave a comment telling me what you want me to do next. Because last time you guys kind of left me no comments of what you guys want me to like review next. So I just said Flower Bouquet. And um, if you guys didn't like this review, give me your, like, your reasons why in the comments as well. And I'll try to improve my next reviews. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.